All right, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and today we're going to be looking at making a basic shaped head. Okay, so we're not doing any of the details on the head. This is to make a sculpt head model uh, to be used in like such programs as Blender or ZBrush in the sculpt features. Okay, so let's get started. What we're going to first do is get some orthogonal views, and those are located under www.houseoftutorials dot net slash z and that's a capital z flea market do 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 and while well, that's loading what I'll do here for the people that are blind or the fact that the program or the film that I got here has a smaller version showing up. I'll go in text edit and paste that. Bigger. Gotta love having a Mac. Okay, there you go. HouseTutorials.net slash Z Flea Market. Okay, so that should be loaded by now. Good. And you can see orthogonal views or ortho views. By the way, there's all kinds of textures here. It's all free. Good luck with that. It's my site too. So, All right. So we're going to be just kind of looking at this face right here. Again, I'm not going to put the details in, but I want to get the overall shape of the face and show you uh, the topology that lays around it. So let's go in here and save these into a folder. By the way, these are really big files. So. There we go. Right click, save image as, and I'm going to save these right on my desktop. We'll call this one front. Period JPG. And then we'll go back and load this one up his side. Side period JPG. Okay, now open up Maya and well let's set up a project right now. That make it easier. And how we do that is we go File, Project, New. I'm going to type in Female Head here and hit Accept. Okay, so what that did was it went on my desktop. And if you are on a Mac, you can hit this FN11 and it'll crash back to the desktop. God, that's smooth. Okay, so here I can just load my views into this new folder. Good. So what will happen here is every time I go to um, that menu or load a picture in, it should automatically go to that project file. Take for example, I can now file save scene as and look at it's in the female head. So I don't have to go searching through my whole hard drive just to get to the female head on the desktop. Not that it's that far away, but okay. Now hypershade, hypershade works like this. We need those two textures in here. So we go over to the textures tab, and we take these textures, and we can just click and drag it them into the texture full tan. Just like that. Good. Now that we have those two in there, what we could do is set up a couple materials. So material one. And what you could do here is I'm going to show you how to do this in a hypershade. Saves you some trouble. So hypershade, just click on Lambert 
and click on another Lambert. So you have two Lamberts. If you right click on it, it will allow you to rename it. We'll rename this one front. Enter on the keyboard and it always put that one in front of it. This one I'm going to rename side. Okay, and this is what we do. We middle mouse button click and drag this to here and hit to color. Okay, and we middle mouse button click and drag this one to color. Okay, that's how it works. Front to front, side to side. Okay, now let's hook up some orthogonal views. So what we need here is the basic plane. Now all you do is have to go create polygon primitives and take a check mark out of interactive creation. There is my polyplane. And I can size it up to what I want. Okay, what I'm going to do here is slap this into the front view. So what I do is see how it rotates, this is my x-axis right here, right? Okay, so if that's my x-axis, that's what I want in the front. x equals front. Oh wait, no, z equals front, sorry. So z equals front. That way x is on both sides. Okay, so in z-axis, I want to rotate this 90 degrees. There we go. And let's confirm that. No. It's back. So X axes, 90 degrees. There we go. Now what I'm looking here is the fact that, oh, see how the rotate shows up as being this, but the move tool is showing up to be like this. I should have went down here to the compass to begin with and saw that is X is on the right and left hand side. Okay, now let's uh, load that uh, material on it. All I do is have to right click it, assign existing material, and go to front. Six on the keyboard will yield these results. Okay, duplicate this one. Control D on the keyboard. And this time I want to rotate Y 90 degrees. Just like that. Okay, this one I can right click, assign existing material, side. There we go. Okay, now what we could do is push this one out quite a bit and push this one out quite a bit. So what I should have now is in my front view, I should be able to hit six and I should say front. And over here on side, I should be able to hit six and I hit that. In the top view, no view whatsoever. All right, now that you've set up your orthographical views, what we're going to do is start modeling. 